Well, hello. Uh, been a while since I posted a video here. I uh, just moved into a new home, big brand new garage here, uh, which at some point I'll show. Uh, so most of my time has been consumed getting set up and moving in and doing renovations on this house that we bought. Uh, I just want to do a video tonight. Uh, about halfway through this summer, I came across a fantastic deal on this particular helmet here. This is a Shui Neotech. Uh, and the Neotech is a modular helmet. And modular helmets are becoming more and more popular um, for speci specifically touring riders. And a modular helmet simply means that this whole front face section lifts off. In addition to just a conventional shield, like most helmets, most full face helmets, the whole front of the helmet lifts off. Um, that's handy, and I found this particular helmet handy, um, that feature, when I'm riding with a passenger or riding with a group and we're stopping frequently and we want to communicate uh, or we want to stop without and, and, and have a, maybe a drink of water or drink a coffee, a quick sip of coffee, without taking off our helmet, uh, having this, this modular feature allows uh, us to open up the front of the helmet and speak or drink or eat or whatever we want to do without the pain of having to rip off the helmet every time and pull out your earplugs and all that sort of thing. I really, really found that convenient. Uh, there are several modular helmets available on the market. Uh, this is a very popular one. This is more one of the more higher end ones. Um, and uh, it's DOT certified. I've not, I'm personally not aware of any modular helmets that are Snell certified. I am, I think, uh, I believe the, the European Commission uh, certification is available on some modular helmets. Shoeberth, for example, I think, I think has the uh, European certification on it. Um, this helmet is, uh, is very comfortable. It doesn't fit my head as well as an Arai uh, long oval shape does, but it's not too far off in the, for short rides, and short ride for me is anything less than four hours, um, this does just fine. Um, I've installed on this one my Cardo system. Now because this is a modular helmet, I couldn't install my, uh, my normal wired and uh, stuck mic, so I used the boom mic option, which just plugs into this unit and comes with the unit when you buy the Cardo. And it basically rides up right along underneath here. And then when I pull down the, the lid, uh, as I pull it down, I just slide it underneath with my thumb as it goes over. Now, that's a great segue into this part of the helmet. Uh, this helmet I found to be incredibly quiet. Quieter than my, uh, my Arai helmet, believe it or not. And when you put down the front and this shield, and actually the, the, the inner eye shield, which I'll show you in a minute, you put down all those shields, this is a very, very quiet helmet and very plush and comfortable. It's very nice. It's a little heavier than my Arai, but, uh, but very nice. And what I found is part of the reason that, that plush and comfort and quietness comes from this chin skirt that really wraps underneath your skin, underneath your chin rather. And uh, there's a plus and minus to that. That skirt wrapping so close on, almost to your throat area uh, really seals off this area from wind flow and reduces the noise in the helmet. The downside of that is, is that really it's very, very difficult. In fact, they don't recommend putting this helmet on and off without lifting this whole front piece first, um, which I don't mind. That's, that's, a, uh, that's not even an inconvenience to me. Um, I really like it. I've actually put about, um, about 4,500 miles on this helmet in a very short period of time. Uh, and it works very well. Now you'll notice I've, uh, some of my helmets I choose tinted shields. This one has a, uh, just a plain clear shield, colorless shield, no tint on it whatsoever, simply because this particular helmet has a feature, a built-in uh, sun visor, which comes down over your eyes. And it's optically very, very nice, very clear, no distortion, no aberration, nothing. It's a really, really nice eye shield. And it seals down quite close onto your face. So um, when you're riding slow, for example, through town, 
you need a little airflow. You can actually prefer eye protection is roll this down and push up your, your normal wind visor. Now once I get out on the highway, I'm a little bit of a nervous Nelly, so I tend to, to ride it with the shield down and the eye, eye, shield down, eye uh, guard down together. And I notice, as I mentioned a few moments ago, when you ride with the shield down and the, the visor down, it actually reduces noise that much more. Anyway, uh, this helmet, as mentioned, is a tad heavier simply because it has the mechanism here to, to, uh, to make it modular. That extra, extra mechanism inside, I'm sure, adds to the weight of it. Um, I have had no problem with this helmet. I know some people have mentioned that the visor at times can, uh, can get a little notchy. Mine's been great. The visor's removable if you happen to damage it or if you want to change to an amber style visor. That's completely removable, also available from Shui. And um, no problems there. Some people have mentioned that this, uh, this forward, uh, uh, the, the front face portion of the helmet sometimes doesn't lock down and they've had it blow up with the wind. I've had no problem with that whatsoever. This goes down, you can hear it click, and it's solid. It's down there, so no problems in that regard either. Uh, the cardo system fits very nice uh, and also, as I've mentioned in other videos, I use a Bose noise cancelling earbud system that plugs into my cardo in this helmet and it fits fine in this helmet. There's plenty of ear room for that to, to accept those. Uh, same amount of ear room as my, uh, as my Arai and I do notice it's a little easier to put this helmet on and off with that system, but because of this uh, modular system, you can actually pull the sides out and your ears slide in a little easier. So, overall, this has been a great helmet. Do I wear it every time? No. I find when I'm riding more than three, four hours, uh, because of the shape of this helmet, it doesn't fit my head as well as an Arai. I find the Arai a little more comfortable. But overall, other than that, uh, very good. Uh, one closing comment, which is very important to several riders, is the wind flow. I do find that the airflow of this helmet is nowhere near as good for me as my Arai uh, Signet Q. This particular helmet has okay airflow, but for really, really hot days, you actually have to crack the visor. It's just way too hot. Um, but other than that, I'm very pleased with it, and uh, my passengers like it too. Anyway, until next time.